Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel, I'm Lucy Fitzpatrick for those who haven't joined me before and if you haven't joined me before, please 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 subscribe because once I reach 1k subscribers I'm doing a huge giveaway and if you have joined me before, thank you so much for coming back, you already know how much it means the absolute world to me. Okay so today I'm very very excited, well I'm not excited because I've just spent like an absolute fortune so I hope this is going to be worth it, like I really do, otherwise I'm actually going to be fuming, like I actually will be so angry. But today I'm coming at you with a primal makeup haul. I am so excited, like literally I'll tell you the story. So I went into Primark, literally for a lip gloss, came out with two full bags. I was like to a woman in the desk, I was like I only came in for a lip gloss and she was like really? She was like you have bought a lot and I was like I know. I know, but it's all for the YouTube, it's all for the gram, let's see huns if it is worth it. So I've already done one Primark makeup video, I will link that below, and that went really really good, like I had loads of good feedback off that, so I thought why not come back at you with another one, because I know I only got a few stuff that time, but I've actually got quite a lot of makeup in front of me right now. So let's get on to the video, so if you want to watch this Primark video, just keep on watching. So Primark skincare for the makeup range I absolutely love. In my other Primark video, I bought this Instagirl Blur Primer and oh my god, like I actually swear by it. Like it is so good. Like I will not go and buy another primer because this one is sick. Like yes, it is sick. So obviously I bought another one of these primers because these were only five pounds and mine's actually running out at the moment. So I bought another one of these and then I saw this perfecting stick the insta girl ready i love the insta girl ready. like i love like i just love that don't you so this was two pound fifty it's just like a stick like so doesn't smell of anything invisible balm to prime the skin and min mineralize appearance of pores big brilliant like that is just for me so on my hand it really feels quite nice so what i'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with my Instagready Blur Primer and then I'm gonna pop this on as well. So this one, if you haven't watched my Primark video already, this one basically comes out like a tan colour. So it basically comes out like this tan colour here. Yeah, but when it goes onto the skin, oh, it just feels so nice. Like, I cannot explain what this feeling's like. It's just so smooth. I'll put in a really 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 soft blur primer cream on top of you which you obviously are but that's the only way i can describe it it's just so nice i, I love it so much i'm just gonna go in with this stick and i'm gonna pop it just on my pores so i normally get pores on the nose the chin i sometimes get my pores up here as well no i don't know if that's a weird place to get them i don't know but first impressions of this it feels really really nice it feels exactly the same to be honest as um the blur primer what i've just put on do you know what i'm going to do with this as well i'm actually going to put it on my lips i just feel like my lips are quite dry at the moment and oh this feels nice oh oh this feels so nice on your lips so with my makeup look today, I'm gonna go like a summer vibing natural look. Foundation, a little bit of trouble with it. I also saw a cushion foundation. Didn't really like that when I swatched it on the back of my hand. Didn't really like the feel of it. I'm very, very picky with foundations. Like, I am very much, you know, if I go and buy a foundation from a drugstore, it has to be the same match as like a Huda Beauty or an Estelle Lord or a very expensive foundation because I'm so, so picky with them because I just feel like, I feel like the foundation is the base and you need a really good foundation for the whole makeup look. That's just my personal opinion. So what I did pick up was um, my Perfect Colour Moisturising Foundation Stick. When I swatched this on the back of my hand, it actually turned out like really, really good. And I picked this up in News Beige and this was £2.50. Now, if this is amazing for £2.50, like hats off to Primark, but... Do you know when you're just like, oh, I just don't know. Like, I hope it is amazing, but you know, when you just, you're not, you're not in it. Right, Primark, you need to sort out, like, how can you unpackage things with fake nails? Do you know what I mean? Like, most people who are going to be buying these stuff will have fake nails on. Like, this is just ridiculous. Oh, I'm just going to pop this literally all over the face. I don't know how much to put on really, I'm literally just caking it a bit because 
I don't know. Let's just put on that and then we'll see if we need to put any more on. So I'm just going to blend this all out. So first impressions, it's actually quite easy to blend because it's like moisturising. It's actually really, really easy to blend. Do you know what? I think you'd be better with a brush. Um, I'm just going to keep on going with my beauty blender. This foundation literally looks like I've got nothing on. And as you all know, I really don't like that look. I like, you know, a bronzy foundation look, especially when I've got fake tan. I could not wear this foundation when I've got fake tan. I've obviously got to get a darker colour, but I like it. I don't know why, but I just really like it. I feel like... I feel like it looks really, really natural. I feel like this foundation for me in the summer, if probably I'd have to go a little bit dark because I'd be a little bit more tanned. But I get freckles in the summer and I hate it when people wear foundation when they've got freckles. I'm like, oh my God, you have to draw your freckles back on because I love freckles. Like, I feel like freckles do not need to be covered up. But like, I feel like this wouldn't cover up the freckle freckles so much. So it isn't really full coverage. I would not say this is like, completely full coverage but i really do like it next i'm going to go in with my perfect color concealer stick this is a full coverage finish i actually have already used this one before um this was a pound well it was actually 99p for 99p honestly it is amazing so what i'm going to do with the concealer i've just popped it underneath my eyes on top of my lips on my chin and just on the top there yeah and we're just going to blend it out again do you know what? So far, so good. I know I've only used two products, but like, so far, so good Primark. So I've all blended it all out, and what I've noticed as well, I'll try and zoom you in, but on this part of the nose and here, right, my nose is funny one anyway. It always, like, flakes off foundation. I do not know what's up with my nose, but this is just a problem that I have on a daily day basis. But it has flaked off a little bit, so I'm just going to go over it with more foundation but I don't know if that's the foundation or if that is just me because that does happen for me for like with normal foundations as well. So to fix this fix this solution of my skin a bit flaking I'm just gonna set it with my Maybelline Fit Me um powder. I know this isn't Primark but I feel like I'm just gonna set it just so it doesn't flake anymore and just see how this this turns out. So, Primark have actually really, really good brow, brow products, and I've picked up this brow product. It's a 3-in-1 pencil and powder. Um, well, yeah, it's just a 3-in-1 pencil and powder, really, for your brows. Um, this was £2. I just thought that was so cool, like, pencil and powder, and there's a brush on the end. Like, I don't know how this is going to work, but I just thought this was so cool. So, I'll just show you this, like also got this brow gel from Primark. I love using the Wonder Wonder Brow Bar, Brow Gel. So if this is anything like that, like I will be so impressed. And this was one pound. Oh, so it comes with a little pencil here. And then where's the powder? Oh my god. It's a powder brush, but I don't understand where the powder is. I think the powder's like in there so I think every time you dip in the brush the powder comes onto it oh that's so clever wow like I'm so impressed by little things and then that's a brush whoa this is so sick we'll pencil the brow first so what I do to pencil the brow as well I actually start off here and I end right at the tip of the brow but I go very very light at the start here it's just because my brows are like really curved so I try and make them like as square shaped as I can and then with the top I don't come in to the very end I just stop three quarters of the way so creamy so I'm just gonna fill the brows in this is like really really creamy and really easy to use next I'm gonna go with the powder This is weird. I don't know how this is like coming out. I feel like this powder literally just finishes off the look. I'm literally going to spoolie the start of the brow and just bring that up. The reason why I do this as well, because I've drawn a line on the bottom of the brow, I obviously don't want that line to show. I want that line just to bring up, just so it looks natural at the top of the, top of the brow. You don't really like... I don't really like the look when it's really dark at the top and it's just the whole same colour. I quite like a natural ombre look. Next, I'm going to go in with the brow gel just to set the brow. 
I don't know how I'm feeling about this brow gel. Um, I'm just going to wait for it to dry and then maybe give my opinion. I'm just going to go back in with the spoolie and just blend it all out from the top. I don't know if it's going to be a bit too sticky. But I'm going to let my eyebrows set, um, just dry, and then I'll tell you how I actually feel about them then because you don't you don't actually know like when the brow gel is wet, so it's hard to like give a give a true opinion. Okay, so let me tell you about the eyeshadows. They have such a good range of eyeshadows in Primark. I actually went to a small Primark, so they didn't have that much of a range there. But every single eyeshadow that I swatched on the back of my hand, um, it wasn't really amazingly pigmented as like a 30 pound eyeshadow obviously like you know it's not going to be as pigmented so i had to swatch it quite a few times for the color to come up and then when i swatched one color it was a bit hard i know it's hard to blend anyway with your fingers but i could tell that that color was going to be really really hard to blend can't sleep prime up because i haven't used the eyeshadow products it just wasn't for me personally i i thought because i'm not that good at eyeshadows anyway i knew that was going to be a little bit of a hard work for me so personally that wasn't for me but what I did find and what I did pick up, well, first of all, I did pick up a metallic eye thing that I really, really loved, but obviously it was out of stock. So secondly, what I did pick up was, so I did pick up this little beauty and it's called Nailed It. <laughs> I just wanted to say it like that. So this is the eye and lip gloss stick. I thought it was just so cool. Like you can use this on your eyes as well. I just, I just don't know. I just think it's so cool. Like, so you turn this and that obviously gets a bit more pumped. Okay, right. I think I've got to turn it a few times. Oh, oh, it's coming. It's coming. <laughs> oh my God, there's loads of... Literally, oh, nearly had a heart attack. So this is pink. <laughs> I actually thought I picked up a clear one, but this is pink. <laughs> so let's see how this turns out. Okay, so I'm just gonna swatch this on the back of my hand, just a little dot. Ah, oh, it turns on clear. So it's just like a gloss. I just thought it was so, so cool how they do it for eyes as well. I've, I love like the wet eye look, but I've never been like confident to put gloss on my eye because I was like, oh, is it going to be sticky? So I thought I'd pick up this and let's see how it turns out. Put on my lips first. Do you know what? This little um, sponge that you're popping it on with is really, really nice. It's like really, really soft on your lips. And this was two pounds. Okay, so I'm definitely gonna change up to my fingers. So I'm just gonna pop this. This is so hard doing it with acrylic nail. <laughs> I'm just gonna pop this all over the lid. I don't know what you're saying, but I honestly, I sometimes just wish you all could talk to me. Like that would make my life so much easier. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I'm going to apply more. I don't know if this is going to get really sticky, but it's actually really not that sticky. I thought this would be like ridiculously sticky on your eye, you know, when you open your eye, but it's not at all. I actually love it. I just feel like it gives such like a glisten to your eye instead of eyeshadows. You know, if you're just going out, you've got, you've got like no time. This is such a good way to do it. I feel like it's like Vaseline on your eye, but I feel like with Vaseline it gets really sticky. This is not sticky at all. Oh my god, I love it. I love it. For £2, this is the best product I've ever bought so far. Is my Contour Cosmetic Stick. I actually didn't pick up a contour stick from Primark. Not the lightest, but the quite light colours. Just because I've got a light foundation and I don't want to be too dark with the contour. I don't really... I'm not really that much of a perfectionist. I just feel like if you're doing perfect lines, you don't really want that look, do you? You want it to be more blended in. So that's why I just apply it quite messy. I don't apply it like, you know, really, really perfect. I love my eyes. I literally cannot stop looking at my eyes. I don't know if you just can't stop looking at my eyes, but please, please start because they are incredible. Like, oh, I just love it. I've got no eyeshadow on. I feel like I've just come out of the beach you know, loving life. I really love my eyebrows as well. I feel like they're really like set on my face and have not moved. Does that sound weird? Or does that not sound weird? Like, 
I hope you understand what I mean. Like they're just here and they're not gonna move. That's that's how I feel like my eyebrows are at the moment. Oh, I'm gonna go in with my MAC bronzer. She's a big powder brush and I'm just gonna go on the top and on the bottom. Powder. I did pick up a powder from Primark. I'm gonna be honest with you, I do not know where it's gone. I don't know if I took it out of the bag. I literally do not have a clue where that powder has gone. So I'm just gonna use my collection powder. I always use this powder and I'm just gonna powder up the face and hopefully fix this foundation because this foundation, like, has not been a win-win situation for me so far. Now, I thought I'd just film this before I even start. I've just got the Soapy X highlighter palette and I'm gonna take the gold in the highlighter palette just on my finger and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop it on the wet look that I've just done on top of the eyes. I feel like it will just give that more of a glimmer. I like this look. I quite like what I've created on my face. So I'm going to go in with the mascara. I don't know if I'm going to buy fake eyelashes. So I'm going to go in with the False Lash Effect mascara that I picked up from Primark. I think this was like £2. Um, I've used this in another video. I actually really like it. It can get a little bit clumpy though. This is what I found about this mascara. It does get a little bit, tiny weeny bit clumpy, but I don't know it makes the eyelashes just so long after one swipe like that's what i like about it it just makes your eyelashes so long oh my god i actually don't feel like i need any eyelashes on i don't need anything i don't need anything thank you primark <laughs> last but not least i'm gonna go in with the lipstick so i've picked up the nude matte lipstick from primark this was one pound fifty let me just check. Yeah, pound fifty. i feel like the packaging is really really good for one pound fifty. i know it's plastic and it's like a little bit cheap but i just really like the packaging i don't know like I've got a lip liner i got the insta girl um kiss proof lip liner because i couldn't actually find the lip liner that goes with this so i've just got this one it's smudge proof long lasting and waterproof and this was in the shade selfie and this was one pound fifty so three pounds for your lipstick is not bad going is it wait this is like quite nice so i'm just gonna line the lips right so because my lips are really like pigmented it's really really hard to show a nude sometimes on my lips and i feel like this is really not picking up i really like the color i really really like the color i wish it was like a little bit stronger though that you could see it a little bit more and again i don't know if that is my because it's my lips but I don't know so i'm gonna go in with the lipstick now oh i love them now that i've pared this lipstick i really really like it and this lipstick is really really creamy it's not too matte, it's really, really creamy, you know, you can move it around easily. I really like this makeup look that I've just created. Last but not least, I'm actually going to go in with the products that I went in Primark for the first time. <laughs> so this is all that I went in Primark for, but I came out with all these products. But yeah, I'm going to apply this clear lip gloss just on top. My God, like, I don't know what you all are saying, but I really like this makeup look. I, honestly, I feel like it's so natural, but it's so like a goddess glowy makeup look and I haven't even got a dark foundation on. So for this, for me, this is like really good. I'm really proud of myself. Oh my God. <laughs> so I'll just go through the products that I really liked and what I didn't like. Don't feel like, don't. I don't want you to feel like I was slating Primark through the video. I really want to give you an honest view as well. Some of the products I really didn't like, but some of the products I really, really did like. The primer and the face stick, I absolutely love these products. I've already had this product before, so I knew I was going to love this product. But this product for £2.50 is amazing. Them both together are absolutely incredible. I love them products. The foundation itself, I did not like, but for £2.50, like, you can't really go wrong. But I did not like this on my skin. It's parted a bit, I've had to fiddle with it a bit. You don't really want to be dealing with that. I didn't like that, so I probably wouldn't really use that again. So I would give that probably a no. So the concealer stick, I've already used this on another video and I didn't really like it on that video and I certainly, I, 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 it's not gone any better than this video. Don't really like that, but it was only 99p, so you're not really losing any money. But I didn't really like that stick. I feel like there's other um, concealer is a lot better out there for a little bit more money but yeah that that one just wasn't for me with the brow product I thought this was so cool but like, I'm still fascinated by this like I want to play with this all the time but like, I just think this is so cool like three and one like that is amazing I love this brow gel and it's just 
the brow what the brow gel has done it's like made it just stick like the eyebrows stand out i feel like if i didn't put on the brow gel i wouldn't like the eyebrows but now that i put on on that brow gel it's just giving it that finishing look like i really really do like the eyebrows i think it's like the best eyebrows that i've ever done so i really like them this has got to be my favorite product of the whole thing so this was two pound it was their eye and lip gloss stick oh my god i love it this has got to be my favorite product of the whole thing i feel like with my eyes this wet look I'm, I'm going for it, I'm going for it, I'm going to do an eye tutorial just with this and like loads of eyeshadows and let's see how it goes on with the eyeshadows and see if we can create a really cool eye look like I really love that and I just love it like you know if you're really really busy and you just want to put something on your eyes but you don't really want to be dealing with eyeshadows this is like amazing to pop on for two pounds, I love that. I don't really like this lip liner, right I like it now that it's on but I like it to have been a bit more like stand out. I don't know, it might have been stand out on the camera, it might have been this mirror that I'm looking out at, but it's good for the money though. I feel like I just get another colour, but the product itself is amazing. I just didn't like the colour as much. And this, I thought I was going to hate it. I'm going to be honest with you. At first, when I saw the colour, I was like, oh, I don't know if that's going to be good on my lips, but I love it. Honestly, this with this on top with the lip gloss on top i absolutely love it so the only criticism that i really really have are these two products and i love them to get like more better foundations especially for me like this is amazing you can get a whole face from primark from less than a tenner do you know what i mean like where else can you say that you can get a full face of makeup for less than a tenner like that is just that is just unreal. I just think it's unreal. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you did like my Primark videos, please, please, please give it a massive thumbs up so I know you like it. And so you, so I know that I can do more Primark videos because I absolutely love doing Primark videos. Like, I know I get a bit carried away, but I do absolutely love it. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you next time on my next video.